Hi there, welcome to DreamWebTuts YouTube channel. Today I will show you how to solve the Google Chrome renderer helper is making your MacBook Pro hot. So uh, first of all, you need to know why it happens. So I bought the new MacBook Pro M1 and it's now uh, running Google Chrome, which is especially designed, designed for the M1 chip. But sometimes I feel my MacBook feels very hot when I touch my keyboard and also when I touch my uh, this area. OK, so how to solve this problem? At first, you need to uh, search the activity monitor. OK, so press command spacebar, command spacebar and right here activity monitor okay so if you go to activity monitor and then go to cpu okay so if you go to cpu you will find the uh, percentages of cpu you can see uh, 50 percent of my cpu is being used for a uh, cl recorder that means camtasia recorder and 19 percent for a kernel task windows server uh 14.4 and camtasia 2021 the main version is eight percent but sometimes you will find google helper like this one google chrome helper renderer it's only 0.1 percent so sometimes you will find google chrome helper you can see here 1.9 percent sometimes you will see this one uh, will be more than 100 percent okay so if you uh, find that Google Chrome helper is uh, getting very, very large amount, let's say more than 100%, that means your CPU uh, is running very fast and it's uh, taking a lot of load than it actually can take. So that time, from that time, your computer, your, your machine will be very hot that you cannot touch even this part of and he in, in your keyboard so how to solve this problem just simply select uh, google chrome helper and select uh, stop okay select stop it happens because of your extensions let's say i if i use the extension let's say uh, i would like to go to my content and go to this area and then if i go to tag it will uh, it will now enable the extension which is vidIQ. So vidIQ is an extension. It will uh, definitely increase the Google Chrome. You can see here Google Chrome helper renderer is now 21%. So sometimes because of the workload, uh, extensions can uh, generate the renderer uh, CPU uses up to uh, let's say you can see it's 30%. If you start working. Okay, if you start working here, you will see the renderer. You can see it's now increasing 29. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes for some reason it becomes more than 100. So when it becomes more than 100, the computer and your MacBook Pro starts getting hotter. That means you need to stop this. Okay, so if I want to stop this renderer, just select this and stop here. Uh, press here to stop this. Okay okay if you press quiet your uh, window will be uh, stopped and you can see a error message or oh, snap something went wrong while displaying this web page but you need to reload this that it will uh, now reload and your renderer is now not showing more than 100 percent so guys make sure that your renderer is not more than 100 percent until it it it, it is it is below 100 percent it is completely good to go but if it becomes more than 100 percent more than 100 the value you need to stop this or you need to restart your google chrome because of this you can have a very hot macbook pro and it can uh, give you travel to work while macbook pro while using your macbook pro even if uh, if you use the m1 version of this google chrome it happens because i don't know why but it happens in your macbook pro so this is how you can solve your problem this worked for me that is why i'm making this tutorial just to inform you how to solve this problem i hope you guys understand how to solve it if you still have any questions don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel dream web Tuts, to get more tutorial like this uh, if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel dream web Tuts, to get more tutorial like this i will see you in another video have a great day
बाय